The ocean rescue uniforms are lined for warmth in water and brightly coloured so you can be easily seen. And they have a whistle. I love that whistle. <laughs> ah, Sam, just in time. Oh, thanks, Penny. So, let's see how fast you can all change. And go! Good time, everyone. Now, take those off and we'll get back to the station and see how fast you can change into the animal rescue uniforms. Uh, oh. Oh. You all right, Elvis? Oh, yes, I'm fine. You go on, I'll catch you up. <coughs> oh. So, we're going to have to work very, very hard. We're going to bake all the extra pizzas that Grandad needs. Sarah! Sarah, can you stop playing Ninja Carrots and start making pizzas? Sorry, James. Yes, James. It's Yes, Chef! James, just checking that everything is going okay with the pizzas. Everything's fine, Grandad. They'll all be ready in time. Uh, James, we still need to cook them. And there's not much room in that oven. <laughs> We've got another oven upstairs. Sarah, take those pizzas up and put them in as quick as you can. That's it. We can't fit any more pizzas in this oven. I've put as many as I can in the upstairs oven, James. Uh, I mean, Chef. But there are still loads left. Oh, there's an oven at my house. Brilliant. So you take the rest and put them in your oven, Hannah. Go, go, go! Uh, yes, Chef. Yes, very good. Yeah. Oh, Cridlington. You appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. Um, I can't get out. Oh, stay there then. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer colour, so as not to alarm the animals. And they're made from a material that's very easy to move about in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Get the animal rescue uniform on. Oh, no. Station officer, stay on. The cafe's on fire. Stop. We have to call Fireman Sam. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Station officer Steel has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter, Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter, Ready, Sam. Air 100%. Keep back, everyone. 
One at a time, take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> All the children are out, sir, but keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Much for some quiet time. Sorry, Sorry Uncle, Uncle Sam. Sam. We were so busy trying to be better than each other that we put everyone in danger. Just remember that candles must be kept at a safe distance away from other things. And always keep an eye on them. They can start a fire really easily. But uh, I've got something to cheer you up. Toffee apples! Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Toffee right apples! You? Toffee, 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 toffee. Ooh, we've got an amazing view of the game from up here. Really? I hadn't noticed. So nice to get away from the whole fish cafe and try something different. Hmm. I'll have the seafood pizza, please. Ah, so many choices. Um, what would you recommend, Norman? I'd recommend you hurry up with your order. This one, love. She's nearly as good a football as I am. Oh. Here, Sam. I'm open, Elvis. Oh, no. Stop. That's not how you dribble. This is how you dribble. Uh, to me, sir. I'm free, Station Officer Steele. I've got this all under control. Now, Elvis. Watch a carefully, Norman, and you'll be a master chef in a no time. I don't want to be a master chef. I want to watch the football. First, we make a nice and neat circle of bellissimo dough, like this. Next, a nice a big dollop of tasty tomato sauce. Uh. And then, a beautiful big handful of mouth-watering mozzarella. Finished! And now I'm free to watch the match. Oh, oh. I hate making pizza. Oh, Sam, over here. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, am I? No! No, you're not, Elvis. Ugh. Penalty kick to Ponty Pandy United. Get ready for the penalty kick of the century. Oh, oh. Stop! Watch and learn from the professional. This is how to kick a penalty shot. Whoa! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's an own goal! Yes! Goal! Goal? Forget about the football, Norman. Just be careful with the... What? Food! Oh, I... Lady Puffleballs and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. Down the stream! Heading down the water! The doll! 
Bolt down Trevor and my sausage rolls. Stay calm. We'll find them. I'm launching Saturn now. Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way! Dogs are naughty! You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Look! Stalactites. Rock formations that hang down. Ooh. And listen, can you hear the underground streams? I don't want any of that scary bat magic near me. That sounds scary. All magic, Norman. Ah, uh, yes, they are, Mandy. It's a well-known fact that if they flap near you, you turn into a bat. Are we really deep in the mountain, Moose? Nope. There are tunnels that go much deeper than these, but some of them are dangerous, eh? Huh? Right, so let's head back up to the daylight. Stay close together, everyone. Great. We're getting out of here before I get flapped at. A hand cart. Oh, I haven't seen one of those in years. She's a proper beauty. Stiff, though. It could do with some expert attention. May I adjust the crank shaft? Don't worry, Jimbo. Your eyes aren't used to the light after being in the dark. You'll be able to see soon. When you do, can you tell me if I've been turned into a bat? I'm sure I got flapped down there. Don't be silly, Norman Price. Hang on. Someone's missing. Yeah. Where's Mandy? Oh, no. Maybe it got her. The bad bat of Bunty Buddy. Mandy's posters. Ah. What's over the Jew back, Sam? Should be quite soon, Joe. I'll see if Penny's got a visual. Any sign, Penny? People are arriving to welcome them back. Still nothing, Sam. Hmm. I hope they're not in any trouble. Good girl. It must be Ben and Hannah. They are in trouble. 
An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. An emergency flare has been fired from Pontypandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Current. They're searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Hey! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. Told you! It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. We're on our way. Well done, James. That really was... Froggy spectacular. <laughs> oh, it's not fair. How come James gets to be the big froggy star? Because James has been reading all about frogs and how they move, Norman. And he's practised for ages dancing in those flippers. It's really hard. Ha! I could do it way better than James. Watch. <laughs> Just be happy to be a normal froggy like us. But I want to be the star of the show. People should be clapping me. Me! Here we go, everyone. All right. First part of the drill, put out the fire with hoses. Roger that, sir. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ridlington! Sorry, sir. Maybe you should help Tom with the second part of the drill, Elvis. He's going to pick up water from the sea in that carrier and dump it over the flames. Oh, good idea, Sam. I like going up in the helicopter. Yes, and then you'd be uh, out of the way of uh, Station Officer Steele. <sighs> Soaking wet again. Always happens when Crittlington's about. Can't wait to see the show, eh? Have you heard? James is the star. He's got the big finale. Oh, I bet it'll be spectacular. I'm feeling a bit nervous, Mandy. Don't worry, James. You'll be great. Definitely. You're our top froggy. <laughs> what was that, Norman? Uh, I, I should be the froggy star. I could easily dance in those flippers. No, you couldn't, Norman Price. But I could... There's only one star in this show, and it's James. He's going to do it brilliantly. <gasps> or maybe he isn't. Get out of that, so-called star of the show. <laughs> That's the first fire out. I have to say it's a lot easier without crittling to the round. <laughs> Can I press the button yet, Tom? Not yet, Elvis. The water's ready to drop, but we've got to be in exactly the right place. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you when. <laughs> With 
with that fog, it's going to be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Pontypandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current's quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What I'd give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest, the tide turns in three hours, plus there's a spring current running. There! That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam! Come in, Sam! Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Pontypandy Island and a lot further out from the shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? i fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Pontypandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. Will Tom really be where you said, Dad? I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! You beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom. Oh, thanks, guys. I thought I'd have to swim for it. It's Charlie you need to thank. He told us where to find you. Ahoy there! Thanks, Charlie. If it wasn't for you, I I'd still be out there, mate. You're a legend. I guess something went right today after all. <laughs> oh, Dad is the best! He's the coolest Dad ever! All those who agree, sound your horns! Right, kids, so that's how you weave your twigs together, eh? So, if you get started on your little animals... We'll get started on our big one. I'm going to make a turtle. What about you, Sarah? I'm going to make a squirrel. Sorry, need these? What? And these as well. But we haven't got any twigs now. They took our twigs, too. And mine. Four feet high and rising, mate. We'll soon have a bear much bigger than anything the wild men in Newtown could build. But we're gonna need more sticks. Come on, guys. We can all build it together. As long as we still get our bushcraft badge. Right, Pioneers. This is gonna be the tallest wicker bear in the world, eh? Yeah! If you can't beat them, join them, I suppose. should do? We should check the batteries in the smoke alarm. Good idea, James. It's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. OK. <sighs> now. <laughs> well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for the, the wild, wild men, men of, of Ponty Penny. We should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. Shuffle back, everyone. Right, 
That's more like it. Now, everyone say, Grrr. What, the Grizzlies? We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I will get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. Norman. Now I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. <coughs> What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back. Grab hold of the end! Oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. You see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh, yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. I've called everywhere. No one's got any big Christmas trees left. But the whole town is depending on us, Sam. What are we going to do? Um... Yes, Penny? Sam, we've got a severe snowstorm heading our way. OK. Call Moose and get him to check that no one's on the mountains. I'm on my way back. But, Sam, what about the tree? We need to forget about the tree for the moment, Mrs Chen. There's a snowstorm on the way. I'd head home if I were you. Okie dokie, Penny. I'll get my gear and I'll get up there. It's very snowy. Yeah, really Christmassy. So, where's our magical Christmassy Christmas surprise? Up there. Because today we are going on a magical sleigh ride! Yeah! Any luck so far, Moose? Nothing so far, Penny. But I'm gonna keep checking. Are we nearly there yet? The sleigh is just up on the next peak. And this is gonna be magical and Christmassy, Grandad. 
Oh, yes, you're going to love it. It's the most marvelously magnificent sleigh that you will ever, ever see. I wouldn't exactly call that marvelously magnificent. I would call it totally terrible. Oh. But I bet it goes fast. Right, Grandad? It does. You'll soon be going so fast, you feel like you're flying. So come on, jump in. Uh, this doesn't feel very Christmassy. yet. Now oh, I've got a splinter in my bottom. Hold tight, everyone. Here we go. Oh, that's a strong wind. Oh, I don't like wind. It looks like a snowstorm's coming. Right, everyone out. Get back! Come back! We need to get back down the mountain. But we can't even see where we're going. And it's getting really c cold. This is the worst Christmassy Christmas surprise ever! What the grizzlies? Nipper? When did that get here? Where's Gareth? Come on, Nipper. We better call Fireman Sam. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help.